Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to make rose from waste cloth. You can see here, this is the demo. Uh, you can use this flower for decoration purpose. You can see here. We made using different different types of clothes. You can use satin cloth or crepe cloth and even cotton cloth is fine. So for that you need one scissor, one lighter, one thread and pen if you require. Then one stick like this. You can use coconut string also. Now you have to make petals. So I took this cloth like this. You can take any cloth. First you have to fold like this. This is for small one. And then you can increase the size. So how to prepare different types of petals. From small to large. So I am marking. This is small size. Then little bit bigger. Then increase and uh, few more size. Then again increase. Then this is the large one. So you can cut it right away with this mark. Fold it like this. You can keep one inch or one and a half inch and fold like this. You can fold. This is the trick. Otherwise, you have to cut one by one. You have to give round shape. If you want, you can make round shape and then cut it. You can cut. There is no required for perfect round shape because we melt it the edges of the petals. So you can see here, this is small petals. Keep it aside. In the same way, cut next one. So now what you have to make is take the petal, fold it like this, then burn the edges. Be careful while doing this process bit you have to burn so that it will look like real flower see friends you can see here i made it using gas stove so papad is ready now <laughs> mini papad to big papad so now it is looking like this after making the flower it will give natural effect so let's make so now i am going to show you how you have to make the flower so take the thread and take the stick like this you can cut it. You can keep the length according to your wish. I will keep this much length. So now you have to take the waist cloth. I have this waist cloth. You can cut it in square or rectangle shape. Keep it like this and fold like this. Then twist it. See, twist it like this. Then with the help of thread. Take the thread, hold like this, tie two to three lines, then you have to make, keep like this, make a ring and put that ring inside the stick and tie it. So this is the knot so that our flower can't fall. Make two to five knots and tie again because this is a strong base. If the base is not strong means all your petals will fall down. So tie it tightly. Let's start making a flower. So this bud we have to get it to ready and this should be strong. So now you have to keep small petal like this. This one that bended curve need to be come like this. Like this. Just hold it. like this make three to five knots again take another one keep this one opposite 
for this the shining part come to upper side like this so turn it like this you can tie the knot if your knot is strong means you can keep only two knot then again keep another one petal guys continue this process until you complete entire flower you can see here i completed entire flower then you can stop it so your flower is ready if you like this video please like share subscribe our youtube channel thank you for watching